Hi, I'm Matthew Cassidy, and I'll be answering questions about Matthew Sanders' Becoming a Learner book. The first question is, Sanders argues that the primary purpose of college is not merely learning a specific set of professional skills, but the primary purpose is to become a learner. I don't really agree with the statement. I do think becoming a learner is something that you acquire through time, but I don't think it's through college. Through my own experience, I've been working the same job for four years, and I've gotten pretty much all the skills that he lays out in his book to become a learner. But I do agree that in college, we are going to start developing those skills a lot quicker uh, than if we were just to be forced right into a job. And on page five, he says, everything counts both inside the classroom and out. So you are learning things in college, but a lot of the stuff I feel like is also on the outside. In the real world, at your future job, I feel like you acquire those skills after, but you get the baseline in college. And from on a scale of one to 10, where would I put myself? I'd say like a seven or eight. I feel like I've acquired a decent chunk of the skills we need. On page 17, he says, learners seek out opportunities, learns for understanding, is internally motivated, seeks challenging situations, sees learning as an opportunity, and learns to learn. And I feel like I follow most of those, not all of them, but most of the criteria to be a, a so-called learner in his eyes. And participating in this UF class, I want to get like a broader knowledge of other people's ideas. I hate where I came from. It was just all like narrow-minded. Everyone was the same. I just hope that there's more opportunities and different opinions so I can grow off that as a person and as a learner. And this project specifically, I mean, I'm really horrible with technology and I'm honestly learning where I'm comfortable talking with my, to myself and to other people. And thank you.